The Ukrainian armed forces have a plan to destroy the Crimean Bridge at the most painful moment for the Russian occupiers. This was stated on the air of Radio NV by Captain First Rank, Deputy Chief of Staff of the Ukrainian Naval Forces in 2004 to 2020, Andriy Rizenko. I think that the Defense Forces have a plan to neutralize this facility as a logistical supply route at the most painful moment for the enemy. The moment when fire control is established or the supply through the Azov region, where 75% of the cargo is delivered in the interests of Crimea and the group of Russian occupation forces in the south of Ukraine, is blocked in some way. Rizenko said, he emphasized that the Crimean Bridge is very important for Russians as it has strategic and ideological significance and damaging this bridge affects Russian President Vladimir Putin personally. This is why they are strengthening it so powerfully, its defense. Now this defense is much more powerful. Indeed, there is an S-400 system there. There are panziers that protect it from the air. Rizenko noted, he explained that in order to protect the Crimean Bridge from Ukrainian sea drones, the Russians began to build an iron fence in the Kirsch Strait, which is more than 16 kilometers long, and there are barrier barges on the surface of the water. In fact, 500 meters remain free. This is the shipping part of the canal. Everything else is closed with structures, and indeed, they are actually fixed to the seabed so that underwater drones cannot pass. They are forced to do this because they analyze the threat and really do not want us to attack this bridge, the expert said. In addition, Rizenko explained why the Russians sent warships to sea. I understand that this is primarily due to the fact that the enemy may have had some information that some strike actions are being prepared against these ships. Of course, they are dedicated to October the 8th of 2022. They remember that two years ago, there was an attack on the Crimean Bridge. First of all, I simply associate this with security issues, Rizenko said. Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant said on Tuesday that Hezbollah was an organization without a head, adding that Hezbollah's leader Hassan Nasrallah was eliminated, his replacement was also probably eliminated. Gallant spoke while visiting the Northern Command in northern Israel. He said, it will take another day, another week, another two weeks and when the smoke and fog have cleared, in Iran they will realize that they have lost the most valuable asset there is, Hezbollah. Israel has called on people to evacuate several dozen communities across southern Lebanon, many of them north of a UN-declared buffer zone established after the Israel-Hezbollah war in 2006. Israel says its operations are aimed at halting a year of Hezbollah rocket attacks so that tens of thousands of its citizens can return to their homes in the north. Hezbollah has vowed to keep up the attacks until there is a ceasefire in Gaza.
למעשה, כשאני מסתכל על התמונה, חיזבאללה זה ארגון בלי ראש. נסראללה לה חוסל, גם מחליפו כנראה חוסל, גם כל הצמרת, עקיל, מוחסן, קרקי וגם כל מה שמתחת. לדבר הזה יש השפעה דרמטית קודם כל על כל מה שקורה. אין מי שיקבל החלטות ואין מי שיפעל. ומערך האש, שחיזבאללה בנה אותו במשך שנים, זו השקעה איראנית אדירה. כל המערך הזה הגיע לרמה שחיזבאללה של היום הוא דומה למה שהתחיל איתו חמאס ואולי מתחת לזה. הפעולות שאנחנו עושים נצפות בכל רחבי המזרח התיכון. זאת אומרת, זה מקרין גם על חמאס, גם על איראן, ובוודאי על חיזבאללה, וגורמי הכוח בתוך לבנון מבינים את התמונה הזאת ונכנסים לתוך, ה, לתוך הוואקום. ולכן הפעולה הזאת גם משרתת את, ה, את היעד המערכתי, והעשן הזה הולך ומתפזר. ייקח עוד יום, עוד שבוע, עוד שבועיים. וכשהעשן והערפל יתפוגגו, באיראן יבינו שהם איבדו את הנכס הכי יקר שלהם, שזה חיזבאללה.